Hi, I'm Andrew Murchie from Enhanced Dimensions and today I thought I'd cover up a regular question we get asked on the Stereoscopic 3D channel about the various types of 3D glasses and viewing systems that are available. Generally speaking, there are three main types of 3D glasses, all of which do the same thing by using a different method to deliver a separate left and right eye image to the left and right eyes. Firstly, there's old school anaglyph style glasses. These use two different coloured lenses to separate out the images. These are available in traditional um, red and blue, red and green, or amber and purple lens variants. Personally, I find any of these styles of anaglyph glasses deliver similar results, with relatively poor quality and pronounced problems with ghosting or double images. The reason they're still so popular is due to the fact that they are cheap to produce and to distribute. Plus, you don't need any other specialist equipment beyond the glasses and a basic color screen to view 3D content. Secondly, we have passive polarized glasses. These glasses are the type you see in many theme park 3D shows at your local cinema under the uh, Real D brand and in a variety of uh, 3D computer monitors and TV screens from the likes of LG. You should note that these glasses, unlike anaglyph glasses, will need more than just the glasses. You need these plus a special screen or projection system in order for them to work. I often get asked if users can watch our 3D videos using their real D cinema glasses, and the answer is yes, if you have the right screen or projection equipment to go along with it. I really like passive 3D glasses. I find them the most comfortable for viewing 3D, 3D mater materials, although the downside of them is reduced resolution as it effectively halves the resolution of the screen, with each alternate line showing a left or a right image. I find this particularly noticeable on my 3D computer monitor as text becomes less clear to read. However, in general movie usage, as I'm sure you'll have seen in your local cinema, these deliver really, really good results. Finally, we have active shutter glasses. Active shutter glasses use a battery powered LCD mechanism that closes and opens very quickly to expose your left and right eyes to the appropriate images in synchronization with the screen you're watching. This is a technology used by NVIDIA in their uh, 3D vision hardware, as well as most of the current 3D TVs from the likes of Panasonic, Sony and Samsung. The format is also used in cinemas in Europe uh, under the X Xband brand. The benefit of active glasses is that they deliver a full resolution image to each eye. So in theory, you're getting the optimal quality possible. While it's true that the image quality is fantastic, sometimes I notice the slight flickering that's caused by the shutter glasses. And also, I must say so far, all the shutter glasses I've tried on have been relatively uncomfortable. I don't know if this is also an imagined problem or not, but I personally find wearing the active glasses a little more tiring for watching a, a feature length 3D film. There are other ways of watching 3D videos that include cross-eyed viewing, which personally I find quite uncomfortable and, and struggle to do, although some people swear by it. And then there's another uh, odd 3D variant that uses one dark lens and one completely clear one that works on a pull for itch effect to create an illusion of stereoscopic 3D when the camera or items on the screen move horizontally. And finally, there's also glasses-free auto stereoscopic screens, like the ones used in the Nintendo 3DS, several cameras and laptop displays. These are generally based on lenticular type screen overlays. They use a kind of prism to deliver the individual views to each eye. At the time of recording this, several manufacturers are demonstrating uh, prototypes and Toshiba has announced the availability of its first commercially available glasses-free 3D TV. I've not seen any of the new prototypes, but in general, the limited viewing angles have been a major problem the manufacturers have struggled to crack on anything but small screens, and I'm not convinced we'll be seeing really great results anytime soon. I hope this little guide has been helpful, and remember, when you're watching our videos on the Stereoscopic 3D channel on YouTube, uh, you can simply click the 3D pop-up menu on the bottom right hand side of the video to choose uh, whatever glasses and display system you have 
to get the appropriate and optimal 3D viewing experience. I've got one extra pair here. This is uh, really just for looking good when I go outside in the sun. So, thanks for your time. I'm Andrew Murchie for Enhanced Dimensions. Bye now.